Good morning, Commissioners, Fire Chief Terrazas, City Attorney, Ms. Iniguez, Eric Scott, Captain 2, Public Information Officer. Uh, today we're honored to be able to highlight three of our outstanding firefighters from Fire Station 9, and they had successfully rescued multiple civilians inside of a burning building. At this point, we're uh, happy to invite up Firefighter Paramedic Stephen Oransky and John Norton to the podium. Firefighter Antonio Navarro unfortunately wasn't able to make it here this morning. But the incident took place on a rainy morning last Valentine's Day on February 14th, and Task Force 9 had responded to a structure fire on Saris Avenue in the downtown Skid Row area of Los Angeles. The heavy rain that day actually caused some of the smoke to kind of bank down, lay low, which allowed some of the bystanders to unnotice the fire going on. And the building actually ended up being two commercial buildings with a hallway that was a makeshift between them and inside, unbeknownst to them, was an illegal marijuana grow operation. Now the fire at this point was on the second floor. It was growing in size to the extent it actually cut off the main exit for the employees to be able to safely get out. So they ran downstairs, they went to a secondary exit. However, that had multiple doors with multiple locks and they still couldn't get out. Fortunately, these firefighters behind me were there that day. They uh, arrived to this frantic scene. LAPD was yelling that people were trapped inside. They, in fact, could hear shouts and screaming from people behind those locked doors. Firefighter Navarro was what we call the inside man, so he was on truck nine. He was tasked with forcible entry to get in. Um, the two firefighters behind us, Horansky and Norton, were on a rescue ambulance nine. They assist securing a water supply, and then they jumped in to also help with forcible entry. Now, because of the complexity of these multiple doors and the extensive locks, it really took all three members working together to force entry. Once they broke through, they quickly were able to assist those three civilians out. However, it didn't end there. At that point, they stated that there was more people that were inside that were close to them, but they got lost and they couldn't find them. Now, this is a decision point for your members. At this point, they realized that the conditions inside this burning building were rapidly deteriorating. And they know that there were some civilians that were close to the others that just had rushed out. So these three firefighters, without regards to their own safety, without having the time to don a face piece, or going inside without a hose line, rushed in, performed a systematic search of the immediate area just inside the structure and found those three missing firefighters, or those three civilians rather. Now, as you can imagine, they were disoriented due to the amount of smoke um, they were lost, but they were able to safely escort them, bring them outside this burning building, really unharmed. They didn't have to go to the hospital ultimately. But certainly had it not been for the brave actions of these firefighters, this no doubt would have been a very grave outcome. And at this point, we'd like to read one of these certificates. In recognition and sincere gratitude for your heroic courage, diligent efforts, personal initiative and expedient assistance, which directly resulted in saving multiple lives during a structure fire on February 14th, 2019 and Saris Avenue in Los Angeles. The Los Angeles Fire Department commends you for your extraordinary life-saving efforts to a citizen of the city of Los Angeles presented this 18th day of June, 2019, Ralph M. Terrazas, Fire Chief. What do you say after that? Um, this story is indicative of the stories that happen every day throughout Los Angeles. And I'm so proud to be able to stand up and represent our members that do these incredible things. Uh, the actions that day, very um, difficult. An illegal grow house, a lot of smoke, uh, trapped occupants. They didn't go there expecting that type of incident. There was only three of them. They had to make a decision. They had to go in. The choice was go in and rescue the people or go back and get all your gear and then come back again. That could take too long. So they had a difficult choice. And thank God they 
They made their correct choice. They were able to save those three people and not suffer any harm to themselves. I'm tremendously proud of uh, John and Steve behind me, as I am of all members of our department, and especially of Fire Station 9. Fire Station 9 is the busiest fire station west of the Mississippi. They average over 90 calls a day. I know what you do. The stories I hear, the involvement with the community is amazing to me. And I'll do a little, if I could do a little survey, would uh, the firefighter, everybody stand up from nines, please. Okay, now the officers, I know have some time on the job, but with an officers, please sit down. Rated members, do you have uh, more than five years? Yes or no? Okay, you can sit down. Firefighters, who has more than five years? Please stay, stay standing. Wow, okay. So all of you have more than five years on the job. Okay, please stand up again. <laughs> okay, how many have uh, less than five years on the job? Everybody, right? How about less than four? Less than three? Less than two? Less than one? So you can see my point. We have extremely, extremely young firefighters throughout this city, and it's dependent upon the captains, the captains to train, train, and train some more. This is the future of the fire department. I was at 66 is on Sunday, and my son got off probation on Sunday, and I looked around the table, and it was the same thing, young firefighters. Uh, I think that's a fantastic thing. I think it's an amazing thing, but we need to be thoughtful about training and learning fire department culture and tradition. And Nines has always been one of our sparkle core houses. And when I used to be out there doing inspections for annual, Fire Station 9 was always the best. And given the fact that they're the busiest and they perform the best for annual and their rigs are immaculate, that is an amazing thing. So the members of Nines, I'm proud of you, keep up the good work. For Steve and John behind me, your moment uh, to speak at the mic is now. So we, so we wanna hear from you, so please come t uh, forward, please. Uh, I'd just like to say uh, thank you to the Board of Commissions. Thank you, Fire Chief. Uh, thank you everyone who's here, uh, the crew. Uh, it's always been my dream to work with a crew like this, I mean, truly a dream come true and I hope you guys know that I know we got an award today but these guys over here they really do amazing things every day and also uh, to the family I got my girlfriend my kid they also sacrifice a lot uh, for us to be at a station like nines trust me we come home tired and broken and they pick up the slack so that's about all I got to say Thank you, Chief. Thank you, Board of Commissioners. Um, just to echo what Steve said, uh, we were all there that day. Um, Steve and I and Tony just happened to be the right place at the right time to help these people. But uh, the truck was there, they were on the roof. The engine was also there performing the fire attack. So it, it, this award goes out to all of us uh, who were there that day. Like I said, we just happened to be right place at the right time. So. Um, but it goes to show that our training together, our camaraderie, uh, all performed well that day. So, thank you. Cap Robles, can I have you come up for a few words, please, to represent Nines? Thank you. Uh, Fire Commission, City Attorney, Chief. On uh, behalf of all of us at Nines, we thank you for all your support. Uh, thank you for uh, administration for letting us run our command. Uh, we appreciate it. Uh, besides busy, the busiest station, a lot of behind the stuff that you don't see is our fire prevention that goes on, the countless hours of training that these men put in every day. And we're not Fire Station 9, A, B, or C platoon. We're Fire Station 9 all, all together. So we appreciate it. And to my crew, and Stephen said it's a dream come true. Well, 
it's an officer's dream to have all of you guys, and we appreciate everything you guys do. So congratulations, and to all you guys, th thank you guys. Thank you.